Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Night Traffic person. Please, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. So turn up any banger and you exclusively you'll definitely be notified. So the Chinese everywhere monster Jiang Jili has called out the two-time unified weight uh king anthony joshua um he said right here i quote a lot i lost to a better man 11 years ago in the olympics i'm happy we have both come a long way gone through ups and downs in life now it's time to do this for the sport of boxing and give it to the fans around the world let's get it let's get it on uh those are the words of um chang jili aka big bang um he posted his on his instagram account i like judge lee i think he's been very on the radio for a long time this is why Joshua deserves a lot of respect, you know, because Joshua has been in the block for a long time. For Joshua to have beaten Jan Jili 11 years ago in the Olympics, and let's not forget that Joshua did drop him in that fight. He did. He got dropped by Joshua. Facts. Jan Jili, you might say, was uh, inexperienced and stuff like that. But he was more experienced than, than than Joshua. Joshua was a rookie, basically. The ups and down on Joshua is just amazing. The fact that he managed to come through diversity, a lot of people gave up on the Joshua um, as a fighter until um, late last night. You know what he did it to to Wallet. He punished Otto Wallen. He made him quit in his corner. It's just, I mean, I, in that fight yesterday, I saw the whole Joshua in combination with a more redefined new Anthony Joshua. So, I hope the UK fans don't get on the bad wagon again and uh, start getting on the hype train. We've been here. We have backed Joshua from him becoming before he made his pro debut becoming a world champion um forced to reckon with losing to andrews jr getting the belt back doing a job on pulev losing to usik twice being written off completely by all the major uh broadcasting service in the uk it's just crazy Oh well, yeah, all that happened, and we still back the two-time unified world king, and he's on, is on, is on, is on, is on, he's on a mission to become a three-time heavyweight world champion. The new Joshua we saw, the the one the Joshua we saw last night beats ninety-nine percent of. Of boxes, let's keep it right here. That Joshua was too sleek, too fast, too intelligent. Had no fear whatsoever. It wasn't tentative. He didn't care what's coming back. He was. Just, he stuck to the game plan. And because if Joshua became a little bit gate became a little bit weak, or if he gave out. A little bit of weakness if he showed a little bit of weakness or to Wallen would have jumped on him and start implementing his gameplay on Joshua however Joshua did not allow I don't think Otto Wallen expected to see a, a, that Joshua that Joshua beats everyone you might say Fury is this Fury is that that Joshua beats Fury I mean, maybe give Fury problems and probably drop Fury four or five times. 
and we'll get a stoppage as well. I know we're just here, yeah, you know, it's easy to say, oh yeah, Josh, that, but I'm telling you right now, that Joshua is a dang, is, is a dangerous motherfucker, bro. Let's keep it right, he's a dangerous man. And I can't wait to see um, when that fight finally happens, we'll be here. In regards to Jan Jalei's fight, I think he's a future fight. Jan Jalei is a dangerous man. And Joshua is not scared of dangerous men. He's never ducked anybody. Even though we, some people might have, they have negative perception about Joshua, but Joshua has never shaken out of any fight just happens to be that some fighters overprice themselves out i'm happy for joshua bro last night i was happy for joshua i was also sad at the same time because what a, what a loss not the fact that he lost but in the manner in which he lost the fact that he did not even commit water i believe either water uh fought with injury you know the ring rust is also part of it or his love for boxing is gone and when you stop loving the sport of boxing there is no need to keep fighting but i believe water is strong enough to come back but until then he he and then joshua is back and does that. Cheers, guys. Let me do, let me do, let me do.